All right, so guys, this is our last dissection, and we are looking at the nervous system, but primarily we're focusing on the brain. And I have gone ahead and already opened up the skull and removed sections of it so that you're able to see what we can see of the brain without totally removing it and looking at the underside. So the biggest area that we're looking at here is the cerebrum, and it is divided into half. And just like we refer to the heart with using the left and right side of the pig, like the, left, the pig's left and the pig's right, we're doing the same thing for the brain. So this is the pig's right, so this would be the right cerebral hemisphere, and this is the pig's left, so this would be the pig's left cerebral hemisphere. And down the center of this would be this dividing line that we call the longitudinal cerebral fissure. So longitudinal cerebral fissure, the dividing line there. And you'll notice that there's this kind of milky white appearance on here. There's actually a tough outer coating that's called the dura mater. And so it is another protective layer besides the skull for the brain. Um, and it is what's kind of helping everything all be intact here. Um, if I were to break through that membrane, it would be all kind of mush underneath it. You can kind of see that there. I kind of nicked it a little bit. So I'll see if I can lift it up and show you. Um, this is that dura mater, that outer covering, and you can see how soft the brain tissue is just underneath there. So each of these raised areas that you can kind of see that almost look like little coils and, and twists there, those are gyri. So the raised areas, and then the little valleys that are in between the raised area, those are sulci. And you notice that there are little dark areas there also. So there's blood vessels that are kind of running all over the surface there to supply nice oxygenated blood for the brain to be able to function. So cerebrum, we have the cerebral hemispheres, the longitudinal fissure, we have the little ridges and valleys. And then the very back of the brain is going to be our cerebellum. So it looks a little bit smaller, right? So it's a smaller section of the brain. And that runs all the way down into this area here, the medulla oblongata. And the medulla oblongata is gonna eventually run into the spinal cord. And I've removed some of the vertebrae there so you can start to see the beginning of that. Uh, and you can also see, let me see if I can lift up an area, that that protective dura mater, um, you can kind of see I'm grabbing some of it here. Um, so it is also, protecting the spinal cord as well as the vertebrae. Um, so that's all we're gonna discuss related to the nervous system. Obviously nerves um, branch off of there. So you have the brain and the spinal cord that are part of our central nervous system and then branches coming out of the um, skull, the uh, cranial nerves and also peripheral nerves that branch off of the spinal cord are also part of the nervous system. Uh, we're not gonna identify those, but hopefully you found these dissections interesting and at least learned a little bit about the anatomy and physiology of the fetal pig, which is super similar to our anatomy and physiology, and it allows us to get a better picture of how our body looks on the inside and also how it functions. So go ahead and review. Um, you can go back over the um, videos as much as you like, and then uh, you can go ahead and take the review quiz.